Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to use the Ocean View software to collect an absorption spectra with the red tide um, spectrophotometer. Um, your screen is going to look a little different than mine, um, but you should be able to find an Ocean View icon somewhere on the left side. Double click on it. When you open up the software, it will take a minute to initialize. You should get this welcome screen. You're going to click on the green spectroscopy application wizards button. Then on the absorbance concentration button. And then in the bulleted list, make sure it's on absorbance only. That should be the default. Then you're going to hit next. <clears throat> and this first step is going to be to set the integration time. We're going to um, take out the black plastic plug and you're going to put in one of your samples. The darkest sample is going to be the best one. And you should get this something as soon as you make sure the strobe lamp enable button is on you should get something that looks something like this and you'll see this blue line. We need to adjust things so that our red spectrum the maximum is somewhere near the blue line. So um, I'm going to go ahead and jump down to about 50, get it on scale. And you'll notice it's pretty noisy and jittery. I'm going to average some scans, and that's going to help um, reduce the noise. And as soon as I click off that, you'll see it's updating less frequently, but there's a little less jitter. The boxcar width is a smoothing function. I'm going to use 5. We don't need um, fine resolution on this, and this will give us a um, again, less noise. And make sure electric dark is um, selected. And we're going to adjust this up a little bit. Probably about 60, a little after that. It doesn't have to match exactly. A little above or below is fine. But this looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to click Next. The next thing is to store a reference spectrum. And so when our sample was in there, some of our sample absorbed light. Now, when I put the reference spectrum in, I'm going to use just plain water. In the live acquisition window, you should see something like this. I want you to notice very little light makes it to the detector below 300 nanometers. That's going to give us a lot of noise later on. Um, <clears throat> but for now, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead. I have deionized de water in there, so all the light is making it through. There's nothing in there absorbing visible light. Once you click it, you should see a spectrum down in this reference spectrum preview. If you don't see one, then go ahead and click the light bulb again. The next piece I need is a uh, telling the detector what it looks like when no light gets to the detector. So I pull out the cuvette, put in the black plastic plug, and now you'll see in the live acquisition there's no intensity, excuse me, no intensity. Go in and click that dark light bulb. And if you looked at the previous one, it was up around 2,000, and this one's down around 6. So very little light making it in, and we're done. Now you can switch to the absorbance view window. This is the one we're going to be working with most of the time, and you'll see that there's just a ton of noise. That's because the black plastic plug is in there and there's no light getting to the detector. I'm going to pull that out and put back in my blank, my deionized water, making sure the black... Um, or the triangle on the top is facing front and you'll see it's very low absorbance so almost no light absorbed and we're gonna set up how we save files so there's a little icon in the toolbar here with a wrench and looks sort of like a piece of paper to me and when you click on it it will open up the settings for directories and right now it's set to save in a hidden directory in the software. I'm going to go ahead and check the target directory, that button with three little dots, and I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to create a new folder called chem3azip. There's probably one there for you. And in here I might create one for my Monday 8 a.m. lab. And let's say I'm team A. And we'll go ahead and with that, click open. And that will now store below there where it says the target directory. The other thing I'm going to do is give it a base file name. And so I'm going to um, say this is my drink mix. OK. 
Okay. The file names will get that base name, so you could use it to distinguish different sets of samples you run, or you could put team A here if you wanted. And then 8.56 a.m. and 8 seconds, so that timestamp is going to help you know which sample you've just run. Go ahead and click Apply and Exit. To save a spectrum, you click on this little floppy disk icon, it says Save Graph to File. While you click it, you'll see it turns red. When it's done saving, it turns back to black. You can pull your cuvette out, rinse it out with your next sample, use the same cuvette, and then you'll put that cuvette in, and you'll see it will um, give you a live acquisition window. Now, notice my absorbance maximum. I can go ahead and click here, and it will pop up the wavelength and the absorbance where I clicked. And so you can move around, but I want you to notice my absorbance maximum is about 0.62. Anywhere between 0.1 and about 1.5 is good. If you're above 1.5, you're going to get a lot of noise. Your data calculations aren't going to work very well. But this looks good. I don't need to dilute the sample or do anything different with it. So I'm going to go, go ahead and record the absorption spectrum. And it's pretty much done. So I'll go here. And just show you, we went to the desktop, we created Chem3A zip, Monday 8 a.m. in here, and I have two files. You'll notice one is a little earlier, one's a little later. This is the, the blank, and this was my colored sample. And I can go ahead and open these up in Excel. Now, if you just double click on them, it opens it up as a text file. I want to go ahead and go to Microsoft Excel. And from within Excel, you can open them and it will import them into the spreadsheet format. And so I'll browse and go to the desktop, Chem3A zip. And it, right now it says only look for Excel files. I want it to look for everything. And I can click on these two files, open them. And if you just click finish, it does a pretty good job just on its own. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to copy a column of data from one file and combine. Um, they'll all have the same X data, this column of wavelengths and different absorption data. So you'll need to do some labeling and go ahead and graph it. But remember the data between about 200 and 300 nanometers isn't really useful. It's basically just noise. And hopefully that will get you started. The other thing you want to do is to move these to Google Drive. And so log into your Google Drive and upload them to your team folder or log into your email and email them to yourselves. But you'll need to get those off of the instrument computer and onto your computer where you can see them. And when you're done, on the left, the acquisition group window and just turn off the lamp.